If you have a mouse or keyboard from Logitech like this, you can program a button or keyboard shortcut to launch ChatGPT with just a single click. And not only that, you can set up multiple presets loaded with your own prompt so that you can quickly execute on what you need. My colleague Keith introduced me to this a few weeks ago and now I use it all the time, so thank you Keith. In the past, when I needed some help to refine my writing or to summarize a bit of info, my process had been to copy the source text, open ChatGPT from my browser, type in a prompt, and sometimes it could be a really long prompt, and pasting my source text. I was doing this many multiple times a day, but now I just highlight my source text and press a button on my mouse and choose one of the presets and run it. Let me first show you a couple of examples of how this works and how I use it. Then I'll show you how to download, install, and set up the app. I provided a timestamp below if you want to skip around. Let's start with the basic use case for ChatGPT that many of us use, frankly, all of the time, which is to summarize articles. So I have this article from CNBC on the US job economy. So what I would typically do in this case is highlight the article. And here's a little pro tip for you. If I were to hit Control A to select all, you notice that it's selecting images, advertisements, and links to other articles. It gets really messy. So what you would do in this case is to enable reading mode. And, and most browsers have this. I'm using Chrome right now. And I will just go to the three dots on top, go to More Tools, and enable reading mode. When I do this, you see that on the right hand side, it's just really selected the text of the article. It's not picking up any of the advertisements or links to other um, articles. So what I would do is I will just drag down and you can see the selection on the left hand pane, right? It's not picking up the, the ads. So I will drag all the way down to the end um, and then maybe not select the other links. Okay, right mouse click copy, and then I would open up ChatGPT and here give it a prompt. You can give it a simple prompt like summarize or you can refine it a little further by saying things like summarize um, in bullet points. Okay, I'm going to hit a colon and then paste in the article. Okay, again, I didn't want to pick these up in the bottom. I'm just going to delete those and I will hit send. And now that summarizes the article and bullet points, which is fine, but that was a couple of steps to get here, right? But now with the AI prompt builder from Logitech, what I can do is I have the same article selected. I'm just going to hit a button on my mouse, which I've already pre-assigned for the AI prompter. So I'll just hit a button and you can see that the selected text is already populated in this box and I've got a couple of different recipes or presets here. So I've got rephrase, summarize, reply, create email. The bottom two, this is something that I've created and I'm going to show you how to do this later in the video. But I have the summarize option, which is already selected and I can choose. So this is the actual prompt, summarize the following text and have the option to refine the length of the summary. I can make it short and concise. I could make it a bullet, in which case I could specify how many bullets I want. So let's say five. Uh, if I were to choose the other option, word count, same thing. If I select this option, I get to define how many words I want the limit to be, or I don't have to put a parameter around length. Okay. I'm going to leave it on bullet count. And then for complexity, we have a few options here. We can make it simple. We can make it intermediate. We have advanced or technical. I'm going to keep it simple and just hit send. And it'll open up ChatGPT and you do have to be logged into the program. It doesn't matter if you're a free member or a paid user. As long as you're logged in, you're okay. So now it gives me the summary and bullet points. So we've limited the bullets to five. So it kept it at five, which is great. So as opposed to every time opening up ChatGPT on your website, typing in the prompt, right? And sometimes when you're putting in a simple prompt like summarize this article, it might be okay. But when you have a longer prompt, you know, sometimes I have prompts that go on 
multiple paragraphs, right? You don't want to have to type those in all the time, or you don't want to have to have those saved somewhere else and copy and paste it every time you want to use it. By setting up your presets or recipes in this AI prompt builder in Logitech, and then being able to activate it by hitting a button on your mouse, it really saves the time and your keystrokes. I find it to be super helpful. Here's another example of how I use this. When I send an email, I want to ensure it's clear and concise. Before AI, I spent a lot of time carefully drafting email messages to avoid confusion and unnecessary follow-up questions. You know, my belief is that a poorly written email wastes time for everyone, not only for the recipients, but for me as well, because they're going to be coming back to me with clarifying questions. But now with AI, I can be a little more lazy with my draft and have ChatGPT help me refine them. So I've drafted an email here on the screen and I'll let you read it for a second. You can pause the video if you like, but you know, this is not a, a, a bad email necessarily. I can probably send it as is, but it could use a little refinement. And since it's so easy to refine, uh, why not take the, the two seconds to do it, right? So now with the AI prompter, I can just highlight the text, hit a button on my mouse, and it's already pre-filled in the text for me. I have this recipe that I created. Again, don't worry about it for now because I'll show you how to set this up. I have my prompt set up. All I have to do is just hit this button. It'll open up ChatGPT. It'll refine the email. Let me just copy this. and bring it into my draft window so it's easier to read. Um, so again, you can pause it so you can compare the two. And when you compare the two, you'll notice that the second one is a little more refined. It's clear. And also it retained that sort of casual tone. It doesn't really read like an AI draft. And the reason for that is because I've specified in my prompt the style and the tone that I wanted it to use. If you're interested in the prompt that I use for this, I will include it in the description below. To set this up, first check if your keyboard or mouse supports the Logi AI prompt builder. I've included a link in the description for the list of supported devices. Most Logitech products are compatible with this feature, so hopefully you are good from that standpoint. Now let's download the Logi Options Plus app first. I'll run it from here. Since it's already installed on my system, I have the option to launch it, but for this demo, I'm gonna to choose to reinstall. This does take a few minutes. I'll skip sending my usage data as well as the early access and offers. The app recognized my two devices, so that's good. At the top, I see options for smart actions, and the AI prompt builder. For now, I'll skip smart actions and focus on the AI prompt builder. I'll click through to preview the features, but since I'm gonna walk you through it live, we'll hit skip. To trigger the AI prompt builder, I'll assign it to a button on my mouse. So I'll click on the mouse. Now it shows me what function each part of my mouse is currently assigned to. I'm gonna assign the AI prompter to the back button. So let's select that. Then I'll expand the AI actions and select open AI prompt builder. Now when I press the back button, it opens the builder. The prompter comes with four stock recipes that you can use. Ignore the last one for now. That's something that I set up. Each recipe has pretty basic prompt, which you can fine tune a little bit with some additional options like length, tone, style, and complexity. Different options will show up for different recipes. You can type your inputs directly in this middle box, but if you have text selected from an outside source, it'll pre-populate, which is nice. Then of course you just click send and it'll open ChatGPT and run the prompt as I showed you in the previous examples. If you wanna modify any one of these existing recipes, you can click this pencil icon, you can change the recipe name and change the prompt and the two parameters. 
Again, you can choose from the four options. I'm going to cancel out of that and create my own recipe by hitting this plus button. Let's name it explainer. I'll paste in a prompt that I've already prepared. As you can see, it's long and very comprehensive. Definitely not something that you want to type in each time. And because the prompt is already detailed and specific, I don't need to set these additional parameters. I'll just select none for both, then hit save. I'm going to enter a relatively complex concept and click send. And it shows a pretty lengthy explanation with two examples. Let's go back and choose something simple this time, like an apple. And it provides a shorter explanation, but still with examples. If you're curious about the prompt that I use for this example, you can find it in the description below along with the other prompt. You can see that there's a lot you can do with this. So I really encourage you to explore and create your own recipes. And if you're already using this tool and want to share some tips, feel free to leave a comment. For more ideas on in incorporating AI into your daily work and life, check out these videos next. <music>